in order to understand why some of the most expensive brands in the world have so much prestige and respect, we need to understand the brand's history and heritage. Hermes is an iconic luxury French fashion house instilled with history and heritage. Their beloved silk scarves are rich works of art and their extravagant leather handbags are considered the ultimate fashion status symbol. Hello and welcome to Creme de Luxury. The place for an exceptional luxury lifestyle. Hermes is one of the only high-end luxury fashion houses that are still privately owned. Hermes is a highly respected family business that has been handed down through at least five generations and counting. No luxury fashion house name reverberates all around the world such as Hermes does. The French fashion house has been for decades a brilliant, prized, innovative and revolutionary leader in the fashion industry. Hermes today specialises in luxury goods, from accessories, fragrances to ready-to-wear products, but most importantly, they specialise in some of the world's most expensive handbags. The story behind the iconic Hermes brand is not all razzle and dazzle. Hermes were renowned for producing high quality equestrian goods and it is said humorously that the horse was their first customer. Thierry Hermes was born in 1801, the son of a French immigrant father and a German mother. He was born in the town of Krefeld. Funny enough, it was a place famed for its exquisite textiles which earned Krefeld the epitaph of the city of velvet and silk. Age 27, Thierry and his family relocated and moved to the fashion capital, Paris. Thierry set up a harness and bridal workshop in pont Audimer, a little north of Paris. There, Thierry Hermès began his professional career as a harness craftsman, mastering the craft of leather making. 1837 was the year that changed everything, and Thierry established and created the house of Hermès not knowing that a century later his name would become a coveted luxury fashion brand. Thierry then opened a workshop creating wrought bridles and harnesses for carriages on the Grand Boulevard. It wasn't long before Hermès was recognised for his innovations and his excellent workmanship, crowning him as the best craftsman in Europe as he provided exquisite equestrian riding supplies to European aristocrats. He even went on to win awards at the Expositions Universelles in Paris in 1855 and again in 1867, so their reputation as one of the finest saddlery makers in the world grew. Over the following decades, Hermès developed into one of the most famous saddlery retailers and they began to produce leather bags to feed the horses and other equestrian accessories. Their customer base included the stylish Parisian and European noblemen and royalty including Napoleon III and his Empress Eugene and many other echelons of the highest order from kings, princes and presidents all over the world. Due to this prestigious clientele, Hermès grew steady and fast as a luxury family business. By the time Thierry died in 1878, the house of Hermès was an equestrian outfitter par excellence and they boasted a distinguished and devoted clientele, providing opportunities previously undreamt of for his sons and heir Charles Emile to expand on. Moving his father's enterprise to 24 Rue de Faubourg Saint Honoré where it still remains today. It was not till the 1880s where Charles Emile and his sons introduced saddlery to the array of products. Here, Charles Emile was a skilled artisan saddler and extended Hermès' fame across the globe, through Europe into Russia, North Africa, Asia and eventually the Americas. Adolphe and Emile Maurice, Charles Emile's sons, took over the business and renamed the business Hermès Ferrez or Hermès Brothers. In 1914, Emile Maurice gained the business of a Russian Tsar, who exclusively used Hermès saddles. Hermès had to employ a further 80 specialist saddle makers to meet the demand. The saddle technique for two centuries used to craft the highest quality saddles are still seen in today's ateliers, where Hermès craftsmen and women stitch and sew their famous handbags by hand. From the outset, Hermès was particular in his devotion to materials, quality and craft. 
With the arrival of the motor car at the beginning of the century, the second and third generation Hermes decided to branch out into making luggage. This was the first step towards making bags, especially as the company became the first in France to use zippers, which they gained exclusive rights to. Capitalising on this invention, they introduced a line of leather golf jackets in 1918, which had been specifically crafted for the English heir to the throne, Edward, Prince of Wales, with the zipper merged into design and well known throughout France as the Hermes Fastener. In the 20th century, by 1919, the sales of horse harnesses and equestrian equipment were in decline. Hermes knew this was an opportunity to redirect their business focus. So three years later, Hermes further added to its product range, incorporating accessories for women, including silk scarves and other leather handbags in response. This change was a monumental success, and shortly afterwards, new stores were opened worldwide. The first Hermes bag, made in the 1990s, was the Hut à Courriers, which was used to carry saddles, and in 1922, Charles' son, Emile Maurice, created the Sac de Peches. Another principal item was introduced in the form of their famed silk scarf, and a whole range of Hermes classics shortly followed after with inspiration drawn from a wide range of books, paintings and art objects. Hermes grew exponentially and their name is forever synonymous with high style and haute couture. In 1950, Robert Dumas Hermes became chairman and introduced the Hermes tie, still the most desirable ties in the world. In 1961, the iconic Hermes carriage logo was created. This was also the start of the classic orange box and brown and white stitch ribbons. The Hermes horse and carriage logo was inspired by the art of Alfred de Zrou. In 1971, Jean-Louis Dumas took over from his father Robert, leading Hermes until 2006. Jean-Louis grew Hermes into what it is today. He focused on expanding upon leather goods, silks, perfumes and homeware and branded the flagship store at the Rue du Saint-Honoré and shifted the atelier to Pantin outside Paris. Dumas revitalised the image of Hermès to accommodate a younger, more modern consumer and increased the growth of Hermès. Hermès is one of the world's most valuable luxury fashion brands and has long transcended the high-end luxury brand industry, internalising their iconic products. The Hermes family reject mass production, assembly lines and mechanisation constantly and consistently, emphasising the value of hand craftsmanship which continues to remain true to their own history. The majority of Hermes products are manufactured on production sites in France. Luggage bags and small leather goods are produced by professional artisans at approximately 12 middle-sized leather goods manufacturing facilities, known as Ateliers Hermes, with a strong emphasis on quality manufacturing. Hermes claim most items are created from start to finish by one craftsman. This is in order to guarantee the quality and uniqueness of Hermes products. Once a bag is completed, it is meticulously inspected to ensure it meets Hermes standards. Hermes prize themselves on exceptional quality control and attention to detail. This is definitely one reason why Hermes has dominated the luxury handbag market for more than a century. Former Hermes CEO Jean-Louis Dumas was once quoted as saying, we don't have a policy of image, we have a policy of product. This shows Hermes is evidently committed to the quality of the products they make, and this sets them a step above the rest as luxury fashion retailers. Each product that adorns the name Hermes is an emblem of great craftsmanship, reflecting the hard work that went into producing it. The brand takes production extremely seriously, training craftsmen for a minimum of five years, and even longer if they hope to work with more ostentatious materials such as ostrich and crocodile, which commands the highest end of the market. Each Hermes artisan is said to own their own dedicated tool set that they use every day. Hermes is defiantly committed to keeping the artisanal trade alive, training around 200 new craftspeople each year in their workshops in France. In the traditional and long-standing skills advocated by the house since its inception in 1837, 
As of 2008, Hermes has 14 product divisions that cater to men and women's wear, footwear, leather, scarves, ties, accessories, jewellery, watches, perfumes, decorative art and tableware. In the case of their renowned silk scarf, Hermes even go as far as producing its own silk materials on Hermes' own farms in Brazil. Today, Jean-Louis Pierre, son, Pierre Alexis Dumas, is artistic director at Hermes. Under his direction, the brand has seen its biggest growth in decades. Today, the global fashion house caters to more than 250 retail outlets, half of which are owned by the house of Hermes. The trailblazers of high-end fashion specialise in the taste for simplicity rather than tacky. Hermes is a pioneer in finding solutions and answering the needs of modern life. The Hermes soul has always stayed true to form and this has surely attributed to the brand's long-lasting success. Hermes is a favourite of celebrities, royals and the richest and most revered names around the world. Through it all, the company have remained in the hands of its founders, the exceptional talented Hermes family. Today, Hermes excels in all categories, whether it's in the production of their bags to scarves. The fashion house, artistic innovation, graceful elegance and perfectly designed items oozes elite luxury. Hermes today represents the very epitome of everything quality, luxury, elegance, class. Hermes is a long-standing brand that has withstood the challenges of modern markets, the demands of the industry and the immense amount of competition. Because their long and colourful history is unrivaled, many fashion houses can only dream of such a heritage. The fact that the stunning bags they create remain so prized is a testament to the fashion house's design brilliance and luxurious quality. The most surprising testament to Hermes's authenticity and revolutionary craftsmanship is the fact a study showed that the iconic Hermes bags have been a better investment over the previous 35 years more than either stocks or gold. Everyone knows the ultimate goal for every bag collector is to add an Hermes bag as the ultimate symbol of style, luxury and elegance to their luxury handbag collection. We will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye from Creme de Luxury.